This is Packet Tracer 6.1.1, Configuring Static and Default Routes. Our objectives are to configure static routes on each router to allow communication between all clients and to test connectivity to ensure that each device can fully communicate with all other devices. So first we need to test the connectivity between the PCs and their default gateway. We're going to start with PCBO command prompt and type in IP config. This will give us the default gateway. Let's ping our default gateway. Make sure we can reach that and it is successful. So let's minimize this. Go to PNPC, desktop command prompt, IP config, and ping its default gateway. Make sure it can reach that. It can. It's the MOPC. Ping 192.168. .2.1 and each one of these PCs can reach the router. Next we need to ping between routers to, take, to test the connectivity. So we're going to need console cables. We need to go to our media connections. The console cable connects this one to this one. Let's get out of command prompt and go to terminal. First thing we need to do is to ping 10 10 10 1. It can reach that one with no problem. Now let's try the other serial, which is 10.10.10.5, and it failed. So then we type in show IP route. Notice it's not on our table. Do the same to the other two. Oh, we've got to get a console first. Go to terminal, enter, ping, one that's inside of the network, which was 192.168.3.1. So that's successful. So let's ping one that's outside of the network. Let's ping 10.10.10.1. Show IP route and dot one is not connected. And then we'll do console from here to the main, open this one up, close the command prompt, enter to ping dot ten dot ten dot five. There it works. Well let's try one of the others. Ping one nine two dot one six eight dot three dot two. That one didn't work. So we can also use instead of going through all that we can use the inspect tool here in packet tracer which is on the right hand side the little magnifying glass and they want us to choose the main office routing table right here pull this over here so we can see that they want us to do the branch office routing table almost covered it up the partner net routing table and it shows the same exact information of only those that are directly connected are what's being seen. Close these out. Now we need to configure the default routes. Let's go back to select. Our link is serial to the branch office and three on the main office. Also, it'll tell you what the um, addresses for those are. So for two, it's 10.10.10.5. And for three, it's 10.10.10.1. So on this one, it's two and two. There's our five, it's the one for this one. It's, this one is set for six. All right, now we need to go to the branch office PC, get into privilege mode, config T, place the IP route. The next hop is 10.10.10.1, and enter, copy, run, start. And then on the partner, go into N, privilege mode, con global configuration, IP route 10.10.10.5. Enter and copy run start. And we're going to configure our static routes on the main office now. So on this router, the command line, privilege mode, global configuration, the IP route, and then we put the network, which is 192.168. Dot one dot zero two five five subnet mass the serial. Then we're gonna do the partner net 
which is IP route 192.168.3.0 subnet and then it's serial. Enter, copy run start, minimize that, view the routing tables again. Inspect routing tables. Now we can see that those are added. Now we're just going to test it to make sure everybody can talk to everybody. So let's go to the PCBO command prompt. Let's ping 192.168.3.2. And it's successful. These are configured properly. Let's ping 192.168.2.2. Ping that as well. And we are finished.